So this is the first time that we've seen the new set. Are you proud of your work? I love it. I can't really say it's my work. It's our lovely design team and Rosie. They've just done an amazing job. So I'm delighted. I couldn't be more excited. It affords you so many more storyline possibilities, I'm assuming, as well, yeah? Absolutely. You know, there's lots of nice precincts where characters can cross. There are little secret areas to have secret assignations. And then, yeah. obviously, it's nice to have our tram stops so people can have dramatic departures and dramatic arrivals. And yeah places like Speed Doll where characters can cross and new businesses so yeah there's lots of scope. Well tell us a little bit more about that scope then what's going to be coming up in the next couple of weeks then? Well we've obviously got David's big story mm -hmm. um, so uh, and that will dovetail into a story later in May as well so uh, that will be seen a lot here we might have some moments in the urban garden mm -hmm. over there with uh, with Jack. We will have a new character called Kayla who will be working at Speed Doll she's going to cause trouble for Bethany and Craig okay. so yeah there's a fair bit coming up. Yeah what about Ron and Kate because they're kind of fan favourites at the moment aren't they? They are and obviously Speed Dahl is, is an Azia precinct yes. first and foremost um, and Imran, Rana's brother is just working at the solicitor's office just down the road over mm -hmm. there but yes we've got a big story with them coming up um, Rana's parents kind of showing their extreme <laughs> displeasure at her relationship yeah. with Kate uh, and I guess both Rana and Imran having to stand up for themselves really in uh, against adversity so yeah that will be coming up really soon too. Mm -hmm. And what do you think the audience reaction to the David Platt storyline will be? Because it will be quite emotive, I think, once it airs. Yeah, I think it will be. It's interesting because um, ultimately a storyline like this, and I know that I get asked a lot at the moment about, you know, is the show darker? Mm. And uh, we're not just telling a dark story for dark story's sake. We are trying to raise a really important subject and promote discussion around it. So hopefully people will see that and understand that that's our message and it will dovetail into a bigger story that will come out in May um, and ultimately I think that once people kind of see how we're linking those stories up together they'll understand our message and, and that's my hope. And is Eileen finally going to stop being as gullible as she has been? <laughs> oh poor Eileen, she's getting there, yeah. she's getting there, the she's starting to notice things, yeah. exactly. Well the problem is when the scales properly fall from her eyes that's when she'll be in real trouble isn't yes. it? Because that's when you realise you're married to a serial killer. Yes exactly. Nobody needs that. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, that will be imminent but I know Sue's a loving playing it, it's nice for kind of her to suddenly get that kind of change in dramatic dynamic because mm. she suddenly looks at her husband in a very different way. And a police station just around the corner as very well. Very handy. He could be filling one of those cells I assume. He, he could be, he could be. Can you cage Pat Feeler? Yes. That's the question. And that might give Craig a few storylines as well because you know everyone, <laughs> everyone loves the Craig and Bethany I love it. dynamic. I know they work so well together. Yeah. Um, I mean Lucy's just done so brilliantly kind of throughout the whole grooming story. Mm. So yeah it's the, the challenge is for her now to kind of find the next chapter for her story. So as I said we've uh, we've got Kayla who'll be with us at Speed Dial and she's going to cause some trouble so Bethany and Craig will definitely be busy. Okay. And this is a real kind of vote of confidence in Coronation Street itself, you know, yeah. ITV's kind of invested in a whole new section of the street. Do you feel that the show is on good form and also that it's as relevant as it ever has been? I think so, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm fortunate in that I've got a brilliant team. The writers are on top form, my story team are on top form, brilliant cast. The viewing figures are strong, you know, we're up year on year, mm. which is great. Uh, I feel like the storylines are relevant. I feel like people are talking about the show. Mm. Ultimately, you know, there's the old adage about pleasing some of the people some of the time and none of the people all the time, and that is true of soap. Mm -hmm. All I can do is make a drama that I find engaging and exciting, and, and that's what I'm lucky enough to be able to do. And uh, so I'm really happy with the show, and, and I, I think ITV is as well, you know, the investment that they've made mm -hmm. on the sixth episode, also on this, I think it, it bodes well. And uh, yeah, I just, the show's got, it's 50, you know, 58 years old, Long may it continue, you know.